There are some new features with Enterprise Guide uh, version 7.1 that I wanted to share with you. Uh, there are quite a few new features, but I'll just pick a couple that I like. And um, I think it's pretty exciting that they're incorporating tools from other editors and other environments. So for example, if you were to create a new program, a SAS program, and um, you know, it automatically populates this into a project. You can give it some test program name here, um, and then you can start programming as before. So um, this is my first program. And what's new are menus here to the right. Uh, if I were to do a Control M it maximizes my editor screen and one of the things is to commit. Commit means um, that you would save your current program in a repository so that you have multiple version as a way of um, version control. So you have the option of typing in some descriptive text here. So I can say um, uh, just initiate program here these are could be analogous to the comments that you have at the top of your program. So if I were to continue writing my program here um, and maybe SAS help um, class or something like that. Now if I were to wanting to save this version, I can also commit again. And now I, I can optionally add a second description or just go ahead and commit. So my menu is kind of small, but if you pull down here, you'll see an option for a history. So this history shows me that I have two versions. And when you click on them, you know, you can see the actual program code. And um, you, you can edit the little description here. But what's nice is if you were to select both, holding down the control key or the shift key, this compare button comes up. And this is actually, you can configure it for any comparison tool, external tool. I think by default, it uses the DOS uh, diff, or uh, you know, DF, I think, comparison, which would just compare two text files. But I've configured it to run um, a little utility called compare it. Um, compare it is a an external tool but in theory you can configure enterprise guide to run with any comparison tool so in this comparison tool it shows you a little timeline if you will here on the left so it indicates uh, this this is useful only when you have a long program and you can scroll up and down the long program and it shows you where in the program there are changes so in this case, the changes occur near the end here where there's new um, uh, red, meaning new items added from what it was before. So the black text here indicates that it's the same between the two program versions. And uh, these are some additional changes uh, from the that only occurs in the destination here. So that's a, a really useful tool. Now in theory, you can also click on your older versions, uh, so you don't have to rely on you know IT backup. You can just yourself revert by clicking on this revert key back to. Um, oops, I'm sorry, I, I probably clicked on the wrong one. Let me look at the history again. Um, the history is listed by default, kind of from the old, the earliest at the bottom. So if I were to revert to an earlier version, I click on version number one, click on revert. Notice that my program comes back to what it was originally. So this is useful for um, programs that are embedded into the project. Let me explain that. It's a little bit confusing at first, but let me go ahead and save this project here into... So normally you'd work on a server, but uh, I'm just going to test here in my local machine, call it um, a new test here. So essentially what I've done was I've saved this program and any of its related you know, data sets that I create later into a project file um, and, and EG stores it as 
an EGP, I think a file with an extension of EGP for the project file. Now in here is where it stores all the various versions. Now if I were to open a, um, a, a program, what they call external program instead of embedded, uh, it, it would not have those same features, meaning uh, external files are you won't be able to do that full versioning feature that I just described, but let me show you the difference here. So let's say I navigate in my file system, could be on the server, to a folder, and uh, this is where maybe I have some of my SAS programs. So if I were to double click on this and open the program, and I can also do it from Windows Explorer, that I notice that the program has a little um, a little, little, I don't know what you call it, it looks like a shortcut as part of the icon here, as you can see. And what this indicates is that the program is an external program. Now, this is what they call an embedded program. So it's embedded within the project, the EGP project that I saved. But the external programs, uh, if I were to extend its menus, you know, it's grayed out. So this works best for those programs that are embedded to the project. So if you work in batch mode or have, uh, you know, prefer Display Manager or different tools for, from programs that reside in on your file system, sitting directly on the, you know, on the disk drive somewhere or the server, um, you would need to embed it inside your project before you can take advantage of, um, let me open up my test embedded program that you can take advantage of these menu items of committing and looking at the history and you know rolling back and so forth. Now that that whole option of version control is very useful. There's some new things tool uh, uh, that are part of the editor that I find interesting. So I use Notepad plus plus sometimes as an editor. And for example, if you highlight a particular section of the code, it automatically highlights all the occurrences of that inside your program. So if I were to have another option statement here, and if I highlight that, notice that the other instances also highlight. That's just a common text editor feature, and it now is part of um, Enterprise Guide as well. So let's say if I have some code here, and I have another data step here, uh, if I were to, if I have this as a long program and highlight a section of the code, it, notice that it also highlights the other part. So that's similar to other editors, uh, such as the one that I just described in the, the Notepad++. Now it's part of EG.